guys, this is Steve Sheehan. Welcome to another installment of the Hot Lab segment brought to you by JRM. We're at Kentucky this week. This is uh, going to be a very tough track to set up for. We're going to have to really concentrate on getting our cars to travel over the bumps smoothly, be able to maneuver around those bumps and around 30 other cars. Imagine driving your own car for you car savvy people out there uh, without shocks now at 120 miles per hour. That's basically what we're going to be having to do through the corners and even faster down the straightaways. And the straightaways here are not missing bumps either. There's just as big of bumps down the straightaways here too. Since we don't have shocks, we're really going to have to basically deal with hitting the bumps and we're going to have to get our cars to not only hit the bumps but hit them correctly so we can travel through the corner and come off the corner straight. So uh, this is going to be an interesting segment. I'm going to pinpoint a lot of the bumps around the track and uh, there's also a specific line you got to run in both sides of the track. So this will be cool. All right, so here I am, I'm gonna get up right to the wall. Like I said, I'm not gonna wanna go below those first dotted white lines. I'm gonna wanna stay above them. You're gonna see me play with it all the way up off the corner because this car wants to step out this build very easily. Going to turn three, you're gonna see me hit a bump and then it's gonna set, go through the corner. This whole entire corner is all bumps. Look at my front end, it's just all over the place. But it's just, we're gonna be dancing with it all the way through there all night. I'm gonna come off the corner bumps down the front straightaway and hit the line. Now this track is very misleading. When you go down into the corner you think your car is going to grip and get down to the bottom. Well you don't want to pull it all the way down to the bottom because as soon as you go below that first set of white dotted lines you're actually going to start to break grip. You want to get your left sides right on that dotted line both sides of the track pretty much and kind of rotate around through there. Your car is going to be able to turn below that if you really want it to, but as soon as you do, you're actually going to slide out and you're actually going to lose time. So you need to force yourself to keep it above that white dotted line in order to have a good amount of grip and come off the corner very good. Now turn one and two is a lot smoother compared to three and four. Turn one and two, as long as you run that line that I was talking about, you shouldn't be too bad with the bumps. If you push up, you'll hit some bumps up there, but one and two is okay as long as you stay right on that white dotted line. Down the back stretch, relatively smooth. Before you enter turn three, there is actually a bump right about where the braking zone is. It's very important not to be on the brakes too much because that'll actually dip the nose down of the car and you're going to hit that bump a lot worse on the brakes than you would be, say, if you go in a little bit harder or if you coast a little bit. So it's a very interesting corner. It definitely takes some skill and knowledge of ha how, to, how to keep your nose above the bump in order to get into the corner nice because if you hit that bump wrong, it'll screw up the entry and the entire corner. Uh, this entire corner, three and four, is, is basically all bumps. You have to really have your car set up very stout in order to get through the bumps well. We're not going to want to clear the bumps with the nose because we'll be sacrificing too much downforce. We're going to want to be hitting the bumps, but it all depends on how we hit them. We don't want our cars to be getting unsettled after we go over a bump. We wanted to hit the bumps a certain way in order to keep the car balanced. I know that sounds very weird and it's it's not something that a lot of real drivers and real crew chiefs are setting up for because they have shocks that they can work with. Us on the other hand, we can't we don't really have that yet. We're going to be going through here, hitting some bumps. We're going to come off the corner and even the front straightaway at this track. This is a very, very key feature here. This front straightaway is bumpy. Uh, we're going to be hitting bumps down the front straightaway even. We're going to be able to really get runs on people in different cars depending on how they're traveling over these bumps on the front straightaway. So keep an eye out for cars that look unsettled, maybe can't really maneuver as well down the front straightaway. It's definitely going to be a key factor in tonight's race. This track promotes side-by-side -side racing, unlike almost any other track in the service in iRacing. Like I said, with that bottom line, you actually lose grip the lower you go, especially if you go below that dotted line. So when you're making a pass on somebody, that outside car can pinch you down a little bit, and that outside car can actually hold the inside car up and even clear the inside car, and you'll even see some passes made up high because perhaps someone gets a little bit too low, gets a little loose, and as soon as that person gets a fender on someone on their right rear, they're going to have to stay low. You're going to see some side-by-side -side racing tonight, and the cars are going to look 
honestly, they're going to look out of control because we probably are a little bit out of control because these, these cars really are not comfortable over the bumps, but the racing is going to look fantastic, and we're going to have, for the most part, smiles on our faces doing it. Uh, we're probably going to trade some paint. I know I had fun in practice sessions with a couple teammates, and this track is just going to be very, very exciting from an overall driving standpoint. All right, guys, that's Kentucky for you. Uh, we got Michigan next race, and it, it should be really good. It's probably going to be difficult for us to get a handle on that track, but uh, look for a really, really good race. So we'll see you then.